in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed we preach different kinds of gospels but jesus came with a single gospel he called it the gospel of the kingdom the word kingdom refers to every environment and atmosphere where the governing influence the life the culture the values of the king is enforced and permitted to find expression so when we talk about the gospel of the kingdom we are not just talking about repenting and coming to jesus alone that's wonderful but that's just the initial step if we stop there we will rob the church of standing in partnership with the holy spirit to fulfill the agenda of god and so you must understand that the gospel does not just seek to transform your spirit are you listening to me to deliver you from hell and eternal judgment no after that then romans chapter 12 verse 1 says i beseech ye brethren by the mercies of god that ye offer your bodies as living sacrifices holy and acceptable unto god he says which is your reasonable act of worship verse 2 says and do not be conformed to this aeon this world this age the thinking pattern that is found in cosmos do not be conformed he said but be transformed be metamorphosed how by the renewal of your mind and first peter chapter 1 verse 9 calls that the end of your faith even the salvation of your soul are you following me now so the gospel is supposed to affect your spirit your soul and your body there's supposed to be an alignment and an understanding for many people our concept of christianity and the gospel is that we come to a point where we become men of god so the day you get born again your vision your goal your pursuit is to get so big that your pastor just calls you and says okay now i see that you're a threat to me in this ministry so go and open a branch and have a nice day and for us that's what we call kingdom advancement it's important that the body of christ comes into an understanding of the system that jesus left with us are you following me now for if we do not come into that understanding we will keep doing what we have been doing and the world will never recognize that jesus christ is lord the average christian does not understand what there is more to our christianity so when you get born again and filled with the holy spirit we are so idle we don't know what to do so someone just turns and looks at a beautiful lady and says, well let's let's get married at least let's keep the journey going somebody else says okay let's get prosperity somebody else says let's open a church or let's open an outreach or an orphanage ladies orphanage or let's open something else but i need you to understand that the kingdom is not haphazard are you listening to me god is not scratching his head thinking okay so what next will we do no the kingdom of god is a structure that has been put in order are you realizing this and so we must come to the understanding of the structure of the kingdom and how we are to function in it and only when let me tell you something what you are seeing right now is a revival that is in place are you listening to me because many believers have taught that christianity has nothing to do with business politics media and all of this and so we just feel that all there is to christianity is come to church sing join choir so when we talk of serving the lord what preachers have taught people is serving in my church that's what they call serving the lord are you following me now so they have put a church and ministry mindset in people and so they believe they are serving god when they are serving in church and we frown at them when they say they have left our church or they have left something we just feel you are wasting you are not serving the kingdom we must grow the body of 
Christ out of a church and a ministry mentality to begin to think of the entire span of the kingdom of our father so that our success and accomplishment is not how ENI is doing well is how the body of Christ universal is faring are you following me now and so it says go into cosmos and preach the gospel put in them both the people and the systems a mindset and an ideology that brings everybody to the obedience of Christ where they realize that Christ is king where his values becomes the value of that system are you listening to me many people complicate the message of the gospel if Jesus intended for everyone to obey the gospel then it had to be simple enough I don't need a concordance to understand the gospel I may stretch to understand God but how does the person in the village ever come into alignment with kingdom realities the gospel is simple it's an ideology it's a set of values every time you are employed in a company the first thing they do is an orientation even if you entered with first class is that correct and they attempt to put in you the modus operandi and the value of that company and they tell you we don't come late you come late twice you collect your last salary outside the gate and don't come here again I follow me now and they tell you when you are here you dress in a certain manner you smile at your clients whether you are tired or hungry this is the modus operandi are you following me now the degree to which you align yourself with the values of that company is how much you will be promoted and lifted are you following me now now we understand this in the educational and the secular world but not in christianity the average christian is envisioning when he will become a pastor and have a flock of one million people and all we end up doing is just receiving and prophesying to people with no knowledge whatsoever of the program and the agenda of god and so we keep having beggars lining up day and night without growth and every time you see anybody doing anything the day you see him writing a rap you just look at him and say you're rapping as a christian and now the person is confused starting standing in the middle of nowhere not i every time i sit i sense an inspiration and then you run to the man of god and say what is this inspiration for says demonic kill it now go and carry your bible and what we have ended up doing is growing a crippled church that do not understand the program and the agenda of god we speak in tongues but we do not know to what end we are praying in tongues we cry and we preach about prosperity and kingdom wealth and many people have become an embarrassment for the kingdom because they do not even know the purpose of prosperity we preach about marriage and relationship to what end if we are to be relevant in this generation and if we are to fulfill the agenda of the father then it's paramount that we understand that we are living in, in a system say after me a system so you see that you really are not a i don't care how many times you come for altar call listen listen let me correct something right now i don't care how many times you come out for altar call you truly are not a christian if you have not imbibed the value system of the kingdom to the point that jesus can be lord of your life can i tell you something there are two conditions to go to heaven write it one is that jesus is savior of your life let me tell you what it means to be savior to be savior means that you have accept the finished work of christ on the cross are you listening to me that you believe that he died for you and you died in him are you listening to me but that's not enough look up it's not enough for jesus to just be savior he must be lord of your life can i tell you something jesus being lord of your life is not by faith why do you call me lord lord and will not do your doing is what validates that he is lord so when you say jesus is savior he says yes that's true when he says, lord you are lord he says i'm watching i'm watching prove to me that i am lord by showing me how much you value me how much of my life is priority to you are you following me now there are many believers that do not have a priority if the things of the spirit are still a burden to you jesus is not yet lord hallelujah are you listening to me this is very important 
we have a generation of people who know Jesus as Savior. And so you, we can do anything. Bribe in the name of Jesus. No fear of the Lord. Go. That's the command. Into cosmos. And let me tell you something. A true apostolic ministry, I've said it. A true apostolic ministry does not just seek to transform people. Are you listening to me? You change people and influence systems. This is the part of the church that the church has been so uninterested. We do not think about the people beyond the church boundaries. And so we have many superstars in church. And the world does not even recognize our impact. Until we begin to step out and legislate as ambassadors of the kingdom. Then we are not going to be able to affect our world. Say amen. amen. And, and there's no point talking about great grace and glory. If we do not understand our mission in the kingdom. So cosmos talks of what? What is cosmos? Talks of the social system. Say after me the social system. Now, I need you to understand that there is a tragedy on earth. Believers, wake up. There is a tragedy on earth. What is the tragedy? There is a system. That's what we call the world system. That's what we call Babylon. It started when Cain built a city out of rebellion. The Bible says Cain departed from the presence of God. And there he built a city, naming it after his son Enoch. And from that city, activities were carried out without the supervision of the spirit. Christ was no longer king over that building. I follow me. And everywhere God begins to build Zion, Satan also begins to build his city. There is always a conflict of the city of our God. The Zion of our God and the world system. The same thing happened in Genesis 11. Nimrod wanting to build Babel. Can I tell you something? The world is attempting to rebuild the tower of Babel again. And can I tell you who the workers are? Guess. Guess who the workers are? Many of us. We are actively helping to build Babel. He said, go to come and let us build a city whose top will reach the heavens and let us make a name for ourselves. And there is a spiritual rebuilding of the Tower of Babel. And the church does not understand because we have not trained people to understand the kingdom as a system. We only see it as a religion that has to do with members coming to receive from pastors and then that's all. But God is helping us and building us and equipping us to understand his system. And how to rule and reign in this life. There's no point talking about anointing. And power. And miracles. And all of these things. If we do not understand the system. Hallelujah. Do you realize. That every day. Your mind is being influenced by something. Are you listening to me? Every day. Five minutes on air. Someone will influence millions of people immediately. I was having a haircut and they were playing a very rubbish song and I saw one small boy he just stepped down from the chair and this boy was just dancing he was dancing and singing the song and do you know this boy there was no time when this boy sat down to cram that song do you realize that the things we know we almost don't take our time to learn it because in our environment are things that have been orchestrated to shape our minds and our ideologies are you following me now and many believers do not realize that these are mind control systems they control the way we behave to one another there are a few people empowered by satan who represent the government of darkness and according to the leadership of satan these people have mastered the art of creating gadgets creating everything that shapes the mind and the thinking pattern of people are you following me now someone sat down and developed the whole blackberry thing right now people who hit their head on the wall trying to ping one another you're just pinging pinging and you hit yourself and say oh right now you see people moving now i'm not saying these things are bad 
are you following me now i'm not saying they're bad i'm just telling you what is happening in the world you see somebody looks like a robot with wires all over his body this is for earphone this is for answering calls this is for picking this and wires all over and there's a spare one in case that one and pocket full of batteries and we're moving the system is shaping us shaping us to become what we are not aware of are you listening to me the system defines what we know defines our dress culture the system defines our vocabulary when they need the whole world to begin to speak a particular language all that they do is to find those who are influential why don't they invite you to advertise products do you know why it's not because you are not fine they need more than beauty they need what we call influence say after me influence and so what does um what does beckham have to do with indomie or something and you see they carry a indomie and they draw football on it for how does that affect your eating indomie they they are listen 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 this is very important i need you to understand our text says go into all the world are you following me now and every time they want to ask call children outside and tell them who is your role model they will never mention one believer hallelujah it's amazing how you can exert enormous influence upon people and when we talk about the concept of kingdom influence in the church many people frown we call it carnality yet day and night do you realize that the influence of the world is so strong right now in many ministries they vote for the sermons that they preach on sunday so the pastor displays different sermons on their websites and then every member without discernment without everything just logs in and if for any reason uh, right now we do not understand the concept of price and process these are not languages that are they are, are friendly we have seeker friendly people friendly ministries once there's no ac people get angry you know why you didn't learn it because you see the thing is how many times do they give us light in nigeria for us to learn these things and so they began to on your phone it doesn't die easily and so all kinds of things there is a shaping and if church if we do not realize it we will become what we are not aware of one day you wake up to find out that your son is not what you gave birth to again hallelujah i wonder what the slang will now be after five years do you realize that the worldly songs that are written right now they are so spiritual they make no sense to you when you listen to them physically they use words that are not even in the lingua franca again in your english language hallelujah they write songs you don't understand because they know that you love them they encapsulate those songs with melodies that are from the realm of the spirit so that your spirit is drawn to them and you keep confessing those words we do not realize that these are mind control systems are you following me tonight many parents are influenced so right now there are certain parameters that must be in place if a man is 50 years old otherwise he will not fit into his environment and so we see our father suffering for nothing this guy is trying to build the third house everybody is dying in the house and he's strangling everybody because there is a system that has controlled his mind it used to be for young people but right now it's everybody are you listening to me mind control system there is a particular slang and language that if you cannot use in another community you do not belong so many of us force ourselves we browse day and night through our phone to learn the current lingua franca and we call it acclimatizing ourselves to babylon do you see how we are helping ourselves to rebuild the tower of babel that rebellious city so the gospel is not just preaching to get men born again are you listening to me the gospel is a mindset a value system that separates you from the world system and brings you to a point where from your life and your activity you demonstrate the lordship 
of Jesus Christ. Mazi Prosper is here. There's the entertainment industry. You can ask him and he will tell you when he started, how many churches insulted you? How many churches called you an unserious person? Can I tell you something? Our concept of ministry must change. Our concept of ministry has been a man of God wearing suit and then you come and sit down and then a lady gives you water and someone will be admiring me here and say, hey, God, oh, this guy is enjoying. You see, that's our concept of ministry. That's our concept of ministry. And so all our goal and our pray, when we pray in tongues, that's the picture we see. And then the moment you get little honor, you call one lady and say, have you not seen what they are doing? That's why we seek to give an orientation that this is not the definition of success. Are you listening to me? The Bible says that the fivefold will train the body, that they will do the work of the ministry. So when Jesus says, go into all the world, where did he say? Systems. The education as a system. Banking and finance as a system. Are you listening to me? Music art and culture because there are so many people that sense that the lord is calling them into the fashions ministry and the moment they come we men of god stand with our lack of ignorance and lack of understanding and alignment to kingdom things and we just kill them like eli when they are hearing the voice when god is calling samuel we will tell samuel to go back and sleep hallelujah Forbes, Forbes, hundred richest people. None of them, as I know, is a Christian who publicly acknowledges the Lordship of God. How do you like that? Now, don't say it doesn't matter because they are affecting our economy and they will cripple us to a point that we must abide by their terms. Do you realize that there are many companies that we seek to work in, we do not know the values of these companies? We are suffering and trying to work for them and as we are working for them, guess what they are doing with your money? Guess! They are funding all kinds of things from terrorism to prostitution to doing. There are so many companies in this country that are the forefront of women trafficking and all kinds of things. And all we are thinking about because we will not give ear to understanding God's economic system and coming to a place of kingdom influence. All we are concerned is to get your 80,000 a month. And every time a voice rises to talk, Satan begins to wire the minds of the people to think all we are talking about is just prosperity and goodness and me and my wife and children. No. Are you following me tonight? Is, is God doing something to your mindset? If we don't take charge a time, do you realize that in this country right now, and the ambassador came over and he was just talking to me do you realize that glow and all of these companies if you want to do an advert or you want to work with them the moment you mention jesus you are out true or false come on answer me true or false most of the television programs that are held now there are lots of people who have written songs and have dramas and plays and things that will glorify jesus christ but the moment you bring it what happens People just kill it. They tell you at most, just say divine. Divine is okay. At least everybody knows it's not of this realm. And now, a lot of people are saying it doesn't matter. And while you're sitting down, God is raising in you to be a media mogul. You see yourself in dreams, owning TV stations. And the moment you want to move, people tell you, just read. Just calm down. It's okay to marry a pastor, 20 members, and move on. What do we think was, what was God's idea when Jesus came and died? What was in his mind? Many of us will get to heaven. And I pray it doesn't happen. But that we get to heaven and see how much we contributed in the advancement of Satan's kingdom. Are you following me now? And then when believers open universities... We have a lot of Christians who are talking and speaking nonsense. 
and saying ah these men of god they are establishing universities for their personal gains are you not seeing what is happening in our university systems where students are not even interested in reading again everybody just wants to go just go sleep with the lecturer do go get out get out of the university when a student comes in as he's holding his admission letter he's already imagining himself at the convocation square how you get there is none of your business i just want to get out someone who has not held his first lecture is already crying and saying i want because they understand that this is a pattern that has been put in the system to define success and so they just want to pass through it and they will do anything to get to it and there are many believers who are preaching who are jumping right here while unbelievers are designing curriculums do you realize that there are very few believers that are writing books the textbooks that we use in our classes that educate us for six years you sit down under a mindset that has no honor for the kingdom and at the end of it you receive your certificate but you are 60 percent babylon and 40 percent zion and it's with that mindset you step in that mindset will choke the faith that you have such that when you come out what you used to esteem as faith becomes foolishness the moment you step out there are certain things we honor and we i mean when someone starts working we are under pressure so much pressure the moment you start working you earn 200,000. people start telling you please will you get a car buy a car your parents begin to mount pressure on you they say what is left you are working don't bring shame to us it's a system are you listening to me and we are that generation that will begin to question the things that have been the status quo are you listening to me i am provoking you to begin to question the things that have informed your mind because there are many of us who are falling down the ditch we inherited something from a true leader provokes you to begin to consider the foundation of the things that have informed your value system because at the rate at which we are going jesus christ is being strangled in every strata they want to strangle him until he comes out let me tell you how they are doing it look up right now the world is promoting associations and things that bring men to a neutral ground are you listening to me that's why football is being promoted in football nobody fights not on account of religion not anything i follow me now right now when a child is um a child has a right to leave his parents and even disown them in america i hope you know that and we're embracing it nicely another thing is what we call the credit system in our economy what a foolish and ungodly economic system let me tell you what the credit system is buy everything on credit look fine on credit buy a big house on credit and leave that's really what we call generational causes because right now there are many flamboyant people that we admire and many nigerians are walking lying claiming they marry. you bring your sister and say say you are my wife oh let's get this green visa say you are my wife you go out if you say you are not this and we drag people and we name all kinds of things one man married to 50 people because he wants to get visa and we are running to america do you know the disaster that is happening in america america is the country with the most debt in the world has about one i think 1.7 or 170 trillion us dollars they are leaving it for their the children the foolish children who don't go to schools again they are not doing anything the average child gets up and the next thing he knows is computer game in that computer game there is shooting and right now they do it 3d so that the child will be exposed to blood and violence and while the child sits down the next thing he looks at his younger brother and his mind has been controlled he flies from the younger brother and punches him when blood comes out he laughs because that's what has been trained in our children as a definition of a macho man welcome believers we are entering a truly new age and can i tell you something if we do not i hope you know our parents will die or leave us when this mindset matures it will be your turn you will be a glad father of three or five or ten children as you wish but let me tell you something there is a real system and it's important that we train our minds otherwise there is disaster on the way to happen hallelujah an average child grows and you see the child ask children what toy do you want me to buy for you what's the first thing they'll say who taught them 
Who taught them? And right now they've made it in such a way that when you shoot, at least something comes out. And the child gets happy. He comes to look at you and just pours water on your face and he's laughing. He's envisioning the day he'll hold the real one. At 13 years, there is a gang prepared by Babylon that this child steps into. Do you realize the disaster that is happening? Believers, wake up. This is not about E and I. This is about a matter of urgency. This is what is in the heart of the Father. There is a need, not only, and those who have even taught about the kingdom, all we teach is overcoming. That means run away. Do you know, where are you going to run to? The Bible says we are in the world. Jesus prayed a prayer for you, if you do not know. Let me tell you the prayer Jesus prayed for you. He said, Father, I pray that you don't bring them out of that system. Preserve them. You are not going anywhere. Jesus has prayed for you already. And the Father has answered it. It's in John 17. It's a prayer that had been answered before you were born. You are not, so, running away in a sense of fleeing. Are you going to stop watching TV? There are almost no decent films for you to entertain yourself with right now. Cartoons that used to be very enlightening. Right now, cartoons are demonic. You initiate your child, your child looks at you, wakes up, you are sleeping and you wake up and you see your child holding a shoe and wants to hit your head. He's trying to... Children are not good listeners, but they are good imitators. And so those graphic images have been so much... A child at age two or three or four sits down on a laptop and all the pornographic sites have been paid for. They are free. And you want to download a message and they tell you for $25, you know that's a Christian website. <laughs> Am I challenging you? Many believers do not know this. Can I tell you, Satan has crippled our minds so that we do not understand the kingdom or we are not interested in it. Whether you are interested in it or not, I bring you good news. It's coming. There is a rebuilding of the Tower of Babel. And if saviors do not rise out of Zion to judge the Mount of Esau, there will be catastrophe in the years that are coming. The Antichrist is not just a person. The Antichrist is a system. There is a figure who will head that system. But there is a system and is at work right now. Hallelujah. You want to market granite oil. You are putting a lady who is half naked. The granite oil is a lady. Now for heaven's sake, how does granite... Right now, you want to work in the bank. You are not pretty, you are not getting a job. I hope you know that graduate with first class keep your first class once you're not pretty and you're looking nice they look at you they don't hide it they examine you are you going to bring profit to the bank or not i've had the privilege to talk to a few bankers and some of the people you smile at as marketers are trading their eternal destiny for eighty-five thousand naira. there is shame on the church and we must arise we are here boasting of our cars boasting of many branches we are opening and we are not making any effect because we are not going into the world. And so, we are talking about a takeover generation. This is why we need the anointing. If we are talking of a year of great grace and glory, we must not just run away from the system. Because the system will come and meet us. The Bible says a time will come when men will tell the mountain, fall on us. And the mountain will say, I'm not falling anything. So how many of us are interested in what I'm sharing this night? The, if you are not interested just pray to die quickly but if you are going to live in this nigeria it's happening faster how how about having someone who will receive the spirit of bezalel and design a computer that the logo is the cross how about somebody designing an operating system that when you switch it on it says for god so love the world everybody must buy it it's, it's configured in the software you can't change it Aren't you realizing the things that are happening? And our concept of Christianity is ba 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 ba. And a few superstars touch a few people, we fall down, and the world is laughing. When the owner of MTV was asked a question, I'm provoking you. He said, We hear that you influence the mind of children from age 7 to 15. He laughed. He said, We don't influence them, we own them. Let me tell you the implication. I know you are 30 years old, but the problem is this by the time those you do you know those children are growing and god is speaking to you and saying a school and you are saying no a church 
that's my concept of ministry god is saying a school that you offer additional one of the visions of e and i will look forward to times when we will have a primary school who have schools and part of the programs we introduce to the curriculum will introduce a program called koinonia and spiritual growth every child must offer it that you teach your child you hold ten thousand and give him one thousand and say son every time you get money according to the economy of heaven you tithe watch me do it as a father and you say put your own and the child does it do you realize that there is need to invade the minds if you forget about invading the minds of the people you have not changed them i don't care how many times they fall and stand up you must invade their minds you are glorious so glorious in your ways this is what we call the new revival the revival is not going to happen like many people think there are many men of god who will be shocked at the revival that is coming because let me tell you who are the revivalists the revivalists will no longer be those who are boasting and making themselves god on stage that you must come and answer to them to get the counsel of the spirit sorry for them god is navigating another path he is raising men who he will equip by the spirit you see our concept of preaching is going to change that you are god will send you to the system mazi is here he has entered certain places are you following me now and everywhere as he's preaching he is where he is today on account of the kingdom if we were only to compromise many television channels will carry him pick him and use him but on account of the kingdom he has made up his mind that he will live by the value of the kingdom do you realize that if an influential man says god bless you that's enough to bring more salvations than one evangelistic meeting imagine michael jackson just saying i love god not even the lord not even jesus just i love god so god wants to give you a company that before you start you gather everybody and say let's lift up our voice and bless the one who made it possible for us today it is your company whoever is not interested can find one. when he goes out and darkness covers the earth he will come back And God, this is the real revival. Saviors shall come out of Zion and they shall judge the mount of Esau. Are you prepared for the things that God is doing? This is a time where you sense a prophetic call upon your life. You know that you are working strongly in the prophetic. But every time you look at the boutique and you think of suit, God will say, no way. I'm sending you to the navy and you say lord navy with the prophetic grace god said that's none of your business the mission is follow me just go and then we'll need more people more prophets and apostles in the police so that when there are terrorists hiding by prophetic insight you get up and tell them. listen listen this is god's strategy for invading the world system there are some messages that are attacked strongly by the forces of darkness god is raising many of us let me tell you something the way i'm dressed like this there are certain circles in this world that will not receive me they'll say just go out and so god will say all right no problem gentlemen come and god gives you an understanding and gives you a value system you see that's why all this quarrel that we are doing and shouting in church and trivializing a lot of things is because we do not understand the agenda of god and so god causes you to be a millionaire hallelujah and when god causes you to be a millionaire what happens because it's, it's part of the life of the poor to beg when they come without invitation you have people and you begin to teach them the things of god cecilia ibru during her thanksgiving had a number of unbelievers coming they didn't come because they love god they they came because they need her can you make yourself so competent that the world must need you and then you can give them your terms hallelujah when you're walking somewhere you 
you suffer in school you study for years with all the strike the moment you graduate and they are giving jobs they just call and the manager says he wants to see you privately and he says sir i fear the lord he says so what are you doing in my office go to church and he says sir i'm, I'm serious i fear the lord but because we are desperate i see a mystery servants are on horses while sons princes walk afoot and the man says if you're interested in your job this is the part of the story we don't say when we're giving thanksgiving testimony in church come and join me sing hallelujah jehovah Jerry has done me well and then everybody dances praise the lord I graduated with third class and without interview i got a job calm down tell us the whole story what happened if it's the favor of god let's know it's the favor of god i can tell you there are many people who have compromised the values of the kingdom and we men of god cannot speak because they are bringing tithe to us so if you speak they will stop bringing the tithe no more suit because we have trained ourselves to depend on the sheep that we have been called to save for our prosperity and would not run to him i would lift up my eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help conquering cosmos there is a system that is antichrist and so everyone must come to a point where jesus is lord of your life and that everywhere you are he is because you have one passion you have one mission you have one goal there are many of us right now who can start different pages on facebook that glorify jesus christ i remember one time a gentleman sent one very nasty message on facebook and i saw a jimmy researching scriptures when i saw him lining two or three bibles i knew that gentleman was in trouble as me got the verses i went on facebook and addressed that gentleman how many times have people sent their thoughts and then you're on facebook and you see someone write something against your god and you just well when you're in rome behave like the romans do this passive non-offense christianity will not advance the kingdom are you listening to me when you write a song they edit it and they say if they must take you to big brother nigeria remove this remove that remove this don't you have values say after me i have a value system everybody say it inside and outside i have a value system we are not a bunch of hopeless people waiting for the world to give us values are you listening to me we have values we have a goal that jesus be enthroned be honest with me look up maybe okay our minds have been changed here how many of our parents go to work because they are seeking an opportunity to let the kingdom of god come in that company how many when did you ever see your father and your mother get up and say as i step into this office lord salary or no salary let your kingdom come you will never do that when you are poor and broke are you listening to me we need men and women who love god more than money let me tell you something for as long as the church is not empowered enough the world will keep baiting us with offers we cannot resist they will bait you and they will make you to bow to bear and you will bow before you know it because the vicissitudes of life will strangle you you will suddenly wake up and see three children saying daddy are you say where did you come from they say you are our daddy <laughs> when when did all this happen suddenly you realize that he was faster than you ever thought a time will come when they will attempt to strangle I, have you not heard that nations will rise against nations and kingdoms systems there will be a real clash and god is preparing you and i hope you realize that satan will not cross his legs when he sees you being committed with the wealth of the kingdom to silence the activity of babylon i look forward to certain people who will become real kingdom financiers that you are so blessed the next thing is the moment you hear that there is one 
who is singing unto the glory of God you come and say we're we're giving you a record label you are producing we are giving you the best sound quality and we have access to all the marketers every radio station in this country must hear that he is Lord how many of us are that empowered when we start doing a five minutes talk show on NTA we celebrate it and we dance and we jump the remaining 23 hours how many minutes someone someone comes up and speaks nonsense you change channels you don't have any other channel to change so you listen and while you are not around you are busy looking for money walking till night your child is there gullible absorbing everything they are giving and then when you come back say boy what did you learn guess what it's not a memory verse he will recite to you we need to true leaders think of prosper, pro posterity many of us say i'm too young do you realize while you are saying oh god when will my wedding come god is uh -uh. when will the change come are you ready to change the generation you want to raise otherwise we will raise another casualty god had to intercept in our generation otherwise we would have become like our parents hallelujah we we'll soon pray but i'm redefining the concept of ministry and the kingdom how that we need to arise and conquer cosmos oh no me i'll just calm down quietly i don't want to become an international figure i don't want pride take the world give me jesus really by the grace of god we are involved in paying the school fees of many people and taking care of the welfare of many people there are a number of people in this place who have been disowned by their families on, a, on account of declaring the lordship of jesus christ over their lives and we have a bunch of believers who pray in tongues share the grace and leave those people what happens to them when they backslide and go into the world we are the first to open our mouths and say you see them they are not firm in their faith what do we think governs these people when people are hungry and there's no food the lady is crying and somebody is telling her only bow to bell you are suffering too much and when they come to us and say sorry there's i i need food to eat what happens we just say sorry uh, i wish i have something to help you with there's not much but i pray that the lord who sent me will bless you i release upon you an anointing for favor and then the lady gets up and while she's trekking from koinonia to go to her house someone intercepts and she's tired and the person says i was wondering if you would want a ride and say well it's just a ride don't you realize that satan tempts you at the point of your desperation church if we do not rise up satan will leave us preaching on pulpit and be destroying everybody a time will come when demons will sit down in churches mega churches and demons will be the members and the ministers are busy working for god they are out of alignment with his program and his system we are working building branches and satan says please keep working distract them and many people are coming because all that we focus on is membership oh we are just trying make make sure they are happy give them fun make sure they are working well if anybody complains of headache run with first aid miracle no just make it happen let them be warm and comfortable and while that is happening satan is invading our system you buy bonds before you eat it you see a writing that you must read you look at it and satan has been honored how many of you make bonds and make puff puff every time you think of putting something and say something like in christ uh do not it doesn't sound fashionable isn't it that's the problem that's exactly what i've tried to communicate our mindsets have been worked upon but if i call it if i call it um x omega do not how about that what does that mean to you with respect to the kingdom This is deliverance this is a deliverance service this night this is a deliverance service where the lord is helping us are you listening to me the greatest deliverance is that you align yourself with kingdom reality i hope as we are laughing we are getting something go 
ye into all the systems did he say run away go ye go ye into the media Aaron and when someone comes to plan events while you talk to the person you say I was wondering um, tell me your perception about life and the things of the kingdom and then you get to talk with the person I look forward to times when we are about to make to make a speech and then we speak and say now unto the king the whole world is listening to you millions of people unto the king eternal they don't like what you are saying but your competence will make room for you and while you are reading the speech people are suddenly getting healed cancers are disappearing it's not an anointed service but the kingdom is there and since the kingdom is there all the attributes of the kingdom must show forth and the moment you are speaking the prince of dubai or somebody comes to meet you and you look at him and tell him you've been having a challenge in your family what's the problem and he says how did you know say okay let's i'm inviting you over for lunch and you have the money to pay for his lunch then you invite him over for lunch and while you speak to him he gives you an opportunity to run a crusade see friends do you love god you must embrace his system this is the paradigm that i seek to bring for us tonight if this is your mindset then god will give you the anointing if this is your mindset then you will have the charisma and the influence do not reject the influence of the kingdom realize that god is bigger than eni say after me god is bigger than eni say god is bigger than koinonia god is even bigger than you your kingdom reigns your kingdom reigns above all above all lord your kingdom reigns your kingdom reigns above all above all above all hallelujah i never knew that i would be an entrepreneur outside of being a minister and god shifted my mindset when he made me know that if he makes you an entrepreneur is also ministry are you realizing there are people who i have access today not because i'm a preacher but on, a, on account of offering products and services that they need that they cannot provide how many of you have songs that are locked up in your spirit that the nations need to hear how many of you have visions how many drama ministries are quietly lying down here that have been kicked out from churches how many of you have voices that have not been received or embraced no one will want to sponsor you how many kingdom financiers are hearing the cry of the spirit how many people are sensing a call to go into the military and we are preaching them out of it how many people are sensing a call to be politicians it's not like they want money something in there is a restlessness it's an alignment of destiny i bring you a message there is a mandate upon us go ye into cosmos let there be media giants who will arise who will not only snap for koinonia but one day will stand and snap in ait moguls who will be voices i look forward to times when they will interview you when un will call you when unesco will call you unesco will call the white dog foundation and say what solution that's when your anointing will get into work your prophetic grace your apostolic grace is useless when you cannot permeate the system useless i look forward to times when you will have why are we leaving the sheratons why are we leaving the 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 lemeridians and all of these things these are not people that are godly i look forward to times when you will have a hotel and in your hotel there's a rule no prostitutes you bring any prostitutes we kick you out of the hotel whether or not you believe it let me tell you the excellence in your hotel will force people to say no problem let's just come and when they come the only programs they can watch is cnn tbn your channel your own channel where jesus alone will be glorified i'm sharing with
with you a piece of my passion this is what i see my ultimate goal is not to stand on the pulpit and preach my ultimate goal is to be on the frontier of prophecy to use the apostolic grace he has given me to invade the system every one of us has a defined system arise generals go ye into that system and begin to be agents of national transformation do the masters do the phd if it will take you go go into the system gain the access and enter that system and introduce the value system make the universities build them build the secondary schools build the primary schools build the libraries go ahead and train yourself get a master's in cinematography get whatever you get buy or open a studio name it rafa studios he reigns until we are ready to invade the system this way then forget about what we call christianity this puts you in a sense of responsibility are you following me now so when satan brings sickness you see why god will want to heal you because he knows that you are purpose your mind to be relevant you didn't learn how to cook you think god gave it to you so that your husband will appreciate you is he the only person on earth there is a mandate bigger than your husband that your restaurant becomes the best in Zaria. That you, your excellence is compelling. Many of you have come today because of the prayers and because of the excellence. Now that you are here, you can hear this. Can you receive the anointing and take this back to the system? Many of you need to go back when you're on break. Your parents have primary school. They say, come and be the principal. You have graduated before service. And you laugh and say, me, God forbid, I got first class. Are you out of your mind? Do you not realize that there is a goyi? The goyi is bigger than your personal desire. Your job was never supposed to finance your, your life. I've been criticized for years for misleading people. Let me tell you something. If all you have as your mindset is job, you will never prosper. Satan will keep dragging us go ye the true spirit of evangelism is beyond a three day crusade the true spirit of evangelism is a takeover spirit it's a true evangelistic and an apostolic spirit you will not many of us just stand you just talking where your your all kinds of things stand near someone and be spitting saliva on him brother this and that and that i want to tell you there's a heaven i want to tell you there's a hell i want to tell you jesus is lord you are talking with the person for 10 minutes you don't know his name the person is worried with a challenge and he says brother do you know what has happened to me in this life i need you to know that i have not eaten for two days he said well i bring you a message that is greater than food i need you to know that there's an eternity but what are we saying that's why we teach you about the principles of the kingdom not for us to buy lincoln navigator and when i drop from it they say man is this the president of eni a young man so rich like this to, to what end is that let me tell you i've been delivered i have been thoroughly delivered by the spirit of god i understand what the mandate of the kingdom is and when you are on your heels god will bring the members god is tired of sending members to ministries where we punish them and all that we do we create an extra room inside and then jamfa is the one inside this is a prophet then when i preach i charge your spirit and then you enter there and then as you are entering the first thing you encounter is the basket according to your problems let me tell you something there is a shift coming in our concept of church and ministry there are many people who have torn the kings those who are supposed to reign in life and has made them animals you come to church you don't know anything about the ways of god all you know is let's go to church they serve communion to what end you do not know i shall not die but live to what end i don't know you are awakening the giant in you to go to where we teach on prosperity with no vision we teach on relationship with no vision valentine's day is when 14th many of us are warming up to be misled again for another one year until you understand that you are 
it, that's why I bless God. Like I know I, there's an announcement we'll put here. There are visionary ministries that have programs that are a subset of the kingdom. This is not a movement. This is the message. The kingdom. We are going to pray. Conquering cosmos. I bring you a message tonight. That in this season of great grace and glory. You have an assignment. If you open a church. And only five members come for one year. Close it and open a business. Where they come to buy something. Start selling and preaching. When they come you can go back. I'm tired of people who are not moving at the at the at the things of god you sit down there how many people come to beer palace your church is near a beer parlor you are seeing them coming and they are paying millions you see 70 or 90 people people are queuing finish drinking and go out now and they are waiting and you are there shouting ringing bells up and down nobody's coming to your church why don't you act it is how they come is not an issue attract them attract them there are many of you that don't believe in praying in tongues you didn't even believe in jesus christ the only thing you believe in, in good is good music and when you add that the worship team is good you say let me come and check out there are many of you who the reason why you came is you like a sense of you just hear that there are people inside and koinonia even has overflow you say really let's come and see it doesn't matter what brought you welcome that's the point so we use every means given to attract you and when you come the sword of the spirit is already rotating around your head and when it lands it it divides it cuts the soul the marrow everything and brings out the life in you friends there is a burden upon you that only you have been set aside to achieve and to accomplish i bring you a message we are very serious people tomorrow we are going to be having a leaders workshop we are not just thinking of how to advance E and I know this is just for the leaders in the house every ministry every true ministry must have a vision our vision is not just salvation there is something we have an impute to the body there is a unique impute that you must find that you give the body if you do not have it you don't have a ministry hallelujah so it's time for you to arise every time we talk of arise many of us we just imagine ourselves going out from a well and sitting inside a gym uh -uh. arise means wake up to your responsibility the purpose of rights is for responsibility you know your rights in christ so that you can perform your kingdom responsibility you sit down and your roommate is speaking vulgar languages you talk to, don't insult the person but you talk to the person in love and tell the person do you realize that your words have power don't just say do you know god hates talking bad you have not ministered to the person i'm stirring up the real spirit of evangelism in us this is the true spirit of evangelism by god's grace we'll be announcing some of our evangelical packages that we have but right now it's time for us to pray and we're going to pray and ask the lord to help us and grant us the grace the influence the power the anointing the understanding for there is a rebuilding of the tower of babel and the sons of jacob must arise and judge the mount of esau rise up on your feet rise up on your feet inside and outside go ahead and pray in the spirit pray in the spirit over this word that you have heard your generation will bless you go ahead and pray the entrance of thy word give it light and understanding go ahead and pray that's why you came when we call you a champion you really are a champion
Savior shall arise out of Zion and they shall judge the mount of Ephraim. Go ye into cosmos. Take over. Take over. Take over cosmos. Take over the media. Take over. Take over the pulpit. Take over the universities. Take over with the mindset that he is king. He is Lord. This is the takeover generation. Arise, O generals, go ye into cosmos, go ye into the media, go ye into the business world, go ye, go ye, set up the restaurants, offer products and services that will attract many, go to the schools, the Lord is calling the values of the kingdom the spirit of God is not in us just to do church go to the embassies go into the political scene he is calling there is an anointing in the military, in the navy in the air force oh there is an anointing Saviors shall arise out of Zion and they shall judge the Mount of Esau. The agenda is beyond money, it's beyond marriage. Come on, pray. You are not ordinary. There is an apostolic spirit upon you. Rise up kingdom financiers, media giants, Facebook, Twitter, to go. The Lord is calling and throne Christ. Music ministers, arise. Businessmen, arise. Scholars, doctors, professors, arise by the Spirit. Diplomats, hear the sound of the Spirit. I bring you an apostolic call that the systems of this world will come and align with the systems of our God. Rise to a point of influence. Develop yourself and value until the world cannot resist you. Come on, pray. Business apostles, business prophets, IT, IT moguls, the next Zuckerbergs, the next Steve Jobs, rise up IT giants, the next doctors, the next lawyers, the next presidents, the next governors, for the sake of his majesty rise up. The next family life coaches, time to arrive. Go ye into cosmos. Give them a mentality. Give them a mentality. Give them a mentality. The value of the kingdom. Upholding his majesty. Upholding his majesty. I challenge you, arise, the seed of glory is in you, the seed of greatness, you may not look like it, arise. We are the saviors, on one hand, we are praying in the spirit, on another hand, we are taking over cosmos. Pray the Spirit, generate energy, hallelujah, I know I'm not ordinary, I know I'm not ordinary, the grace of God, bringing me to a point of influence, where I will declare to the 
nations that Jesus is Lord. God is giving ideas. God is restoring dreams. God is putting new passions. Let the dream come alive. There is a cause to live for. There is a cause to live for. Beyond your job, there is a cause to live for. The training is worth it. The building is worth it. You are the light. The definition of darkness is the world without you. Arise. Take over generation. Go ye into cosmos. Take over channel O. Take over MTV. Take over the internet. Take over the internet. Open websites. Open blog pages. And throne him as Lord. Open schools. Open libraries. Institutions. My generation will hear the voice of the king. Even in my life, my generation will hear the voice of his majesty. Come on, pray. You are registering yourself for greatness by the Spirit. Hallelujah. Listen. There are many books lying in this place to be written that will enthrone him as Christ. You may not start writing it now, but are you developing yourself in writing? God has told you you are going to become a public figure. Although you may be in the bank now, have you let the banking job take away your mind from your focus? song titled their album for this cause there is a cause I tell you the truth my mindset is not to be a preacher my mindset is not to sit down and preach and carry a big tummy and cross my leg and now people just keep coming for deliverance cases when I drop the mic here I get to walk every one of us here when we drop the wheel we are doing something for the kingdom i challenge you servants of god there are books to write there are websites to open there are blog pages to open the trouble is many of us want a ministry where you are king of kings and lord of lords and you have many members come so you want a secretary and a pa and all of that There are many of us, you see, one of the mindsets, we're going to round up soon. One of the mindsets I trust that God will take out of our minds. How old is Zuckerberg? 27. 27 years old. Many of you are getting blessed from Facebook. We are streaming life to many people right now. Only God knows how many people are streaming this program. In a few weeks time, we're going to start live telecasts to people from the internet listen listen to me if those who discovered this thing sat down and said I'm young our parents have called us young every time we bring ideas they say small boy my friend go and concentrate in your school are you going to allow people to kill the vision of the spirit in you there is nothing wrong with you writing something and taking it for people in NTA or all of these things there is nothing wrong why don't you open a blog page that helps people to answer questions spiritual questions about their lives must everybody know you are ministry in that respect our concept of ministry must change radically 
not everybody is called into the fivefold, but everybody is called into ministry everybody the condition to be ministry is that you are in the kingdom hallelujah there are songs that we need to write there are songs that we need to receive look beyond e and i look beyond koinonia i will cheat you if all i'm looking for is to gather people who pay allegiance to me i'm not a demon have been delivered by the spirit of god the kingdom of god is above and beyond the personal agenda of any man our job is to raise to train to equip you to make you leaders in your own spheres of influence are you listening to me i leave you with a question tonight i want you to write it as bold as you can on your notepad will you fail god that's a question I have. Write it as bold as you can and meditate on it. Will you fail God? Not will we. No. Will you as a person fail God? Will you fail God? If Zuckerberg did not launch Facebook, there are many souls that have been saved through Facebook. There are many people there are some of you can i tell you something there are some of you who want god to use you for ministry you can start from somewhere some of you can say every week i will order 10 messages 10 koinonia messages that's my job i will package it in a cd you mustn't say aaron aaron international power gospel center no you can say i'll package it and i would I will take it to Giwa or take it to Zaria City and distribute. It may not be much. Nobody may know. But that's your own contribution. Do you realize that you are advancing the kingdom? So, the worship team, look at them. They have been standing with me for hours. Why are they standing? You know what motivates them? They are not just trying to bring a pride to Koinonia. It is the sacrifice for many of you to, to enjoy the atmosphere and receive is this kingdom of advancement of course it is are you listening to me they are rehearsing every day in the week to be as competent i mean every time mondays fridays i mean thursdays and all of that are you listening to me the members of the media they are here moving around you see the concept is the kingdom once the kingdom is your priority, nobody will have to push you into doing some things again. You will seek an opportunity to show the Lord that you are relevant in his kingdom. Hallelujah. One last prayer point. You're going to hold the hands of your neighbor and we're going to pray as a family of faith. We're going to say, Lord, listen, although you are holding the hand of your neighbor, you're going to say, Lord, reveal my place in destiny to me. Are you listening to me my place in destiny I, I i reveal my uniqueness where have you planted me to be relevant in your kingdom i'm tired of escorting people from pillar to post lift up your voice and pray reveal my place in destiny go ahead and pray oh god a revelation You may be serving in Koinonia now, but your life is bigger. Grant me a revelation of my place in life and destiny. Go ahead and pray. Reko prese ke pariadabash. Rendo so so peteke nosh. Reveal my place in destiny. I don't want to be busy here and there doing nothing. Let my assignment occupy me. Let me prepare for it. Reveal my place in destiny. Your place is not church. Your place in the system, not in Koinonia. There is a role you have to play 
own church in the system. In the system, you have a role to play. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I challenge you. Please don't fail God. We must train ourselves to a point where your Christianity is not just on Sundays. It is an ideology. Are you listening to me? Don't forget what you have learned tonight. That the kingdom life is an ideology. Is a mindset. Is a value system. That's what I'm doing to you. It's a, it's a mindset. It's an alignment. So that you begin to think kingdom. The agenda of God. Can I tell you something? When you begin to think that you become immortal until your assignment is completed. You know why? Because you have aligned yourself so much. God would rather a nation perish for your sake. And then your evangelism will be effective. Because when you get people born again, you follow them up. You don't follow them up by telling them in our church this is what we do that's not follow up that's indoctrination follow up is to introduce them to the kingdom life and teach them the basic principles of the kingdom i trust that god will cause us to be matured by the spirit hallelujah one of our activities this year is to engage everybody i listen to me i will put fire in your bones until you are meaningfully engaged either training yourself there's no idleness this year are you listening to me you are either training yourself or you are doing something for the kingdom we have different activities you are training yourself so you are reading a book or you are writing something or you are resting or you are meditating there's no idleness you now begin to value your time when god tells you you have two years to manifest and he tells you the things you must do within that two years your enemy is the person who comes to distract you and waste your time are you listening to me father we thank you for tonight thank you for teaching us creating a responsibility in our hearts to invade the world system creating an urgency in our hearts that there is a rebuilding of the tower of babel and that the sons of jacob must arise and judge the mount of Esau. Father, let the seed of the word of God that has been sown tonight prosper. Let it prosper in our hearts. Hallelujah. When you go back to your rooms, teach others. Are you listening to me? You mustn't call it a Bible study. When you go to your, teach others. Go back home and teach others. This is the year you engage yourself. Hallelujah. Very quickly, if you're worshiping with us for the first time tonight, I'd like you to leave your seat very quickly please leave your seat and come we love you and we want to acknowledge your presence appreciate them as they come inside and outside first timers quickly please appreciate them they are coming first timers inside and outside we love you keep clapping they are coming thank you very much for coming I appreciate every one of them we love you we value you you are special you mean a lot to us please just keep coming just keep coming touch us directly in the space for you keep clapping inside and outside I appreciate them great men and women of the spirit Hallelujah. Thank you very much for making our time to worship with us. I hope you were blessed. Hallelujah. We're going to pray for you that the Lord will bless you and cause that his word will... Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching. In the name of Jesus.
drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise i decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall